Okay, this lesson is on inclines, tension, and pulleys. So I'll just jump right in, and what we're going to do is go over a few example problems. These, there's not too much physics here, it's just problems with uh, Newton's laws of motion and acceleration that are very common and somewhat difficult to do if you haven't done them before. So I'll start out with an incline. This is an incline. Basically, it's just a plane that's at an angle to the ground. So here we have an block on the incline, and looks like somebody's riding that block. So uh, we're just going to figure out what the forces on this block are, OK? So we'll get rid of this distraction here. He's no longer any fun. OK, so what are the forces on the block? Now, we're assuming that this is frictionless. Uh, the problems I've done in previous lessons, that's always been an assumption. I didn't really state it. But now I'm going to just go ahead and state that this is frictionless. That means there's no resistance to the movement on this block. So what are the forces? Well, the only force that's actively pulling down on it would be gravity. So we're going to draw a line here. Gravity. And then are there any other forces? Well, there is. Uh, there's what's called the normal force. And that's the force that this incline plane pushes on the block. And it's always perpendicular to the plane. So it's out like that. So if I were to go over here and draw my little free body diagram, the forces look like that. And those are the typical forces you'll see on the block. Sometimes there'll be a force in this direction or in that direction. But the, the typical forces you find are the forces